Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you my experience with this stealth black fans coming from Galit known as the Silent 12 PWM. I'd like to thank Galit to provide all this unit for me to share with my viewers. Just a little history, if you are at the millennium generation like I am, you'll be hearing fan brandings like Nidec, Delta, Yatsun, Peps and of course Galit. In fact, these are all the performance fans and till today right, Gully have been producing quite a number of good case fans which the uh, Generation Z and so on do not know about this. So today I am going to show you how good these fans are. The things that's contained in this box is the fan itself and the bag of screws. It's very simple. The structure of the fan is pretty good though it does flex a bit but I'm not worried as if you were to mount this in the case right the square formation will keep the structure of the frame intact as in like it will not flex and each fan comes with anti-vibration grommets on both sides this is on the front this is at the back and the, there is cutting on the fan frame itself see And I believe these are to absorb or to prevent more vibration to the uh, frame of your case. And besides this, right, looking at the fan frame, there's a gradual slope down here. I believe this is to I mean, assist the blade when it spins, right? You will scoop the air, which is going through this direction, to the case, which is, which is good. And the blade structure, this is in fact a 9 blader if I'm not wrong, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, that's right. And one thing unique about this fan here, right, they are enforced with this shaft for the fan bearings. You go to take a look at this. See, this is the normal one, whereby the shaft right at the back, it reinforces it so that your Fan blade, right, when you start to propel, it doesn't wobble that much. See, you can actually have a look when I do this. It doesn't really wobble that much, which keeps the integrity of the uh, blade, which is pretty nice. Now, as for the measurements, right, it's 120 by 120 and a standard of 25 millimeter at height. And the uh, running voltage is 12 volt DC with an amperage of 0.22 ampere and the RPM of these fans are ranging from 800 and the max to 1800 now these are hydraulic dynamic bearings and as for cables right it only comes with a 4 pin PWM connector whereby you will need to if let's say you want to daisy chain them right you might need to get a splitter or a fan hub. I've reconducted the sound test for this fans over here. If you have missed it, you can rewind back to the intro where it shows you and to let you listen the sound recognition when it's at idle and when it's at load. Now these are basically case fans whereby the blade as you can see right is slightly different from radiator fans just like this. This is a radiator fan or like this, these are radiator fans. Now, having to say this right, I will be testing the performance of these fans here with the uh, case airflow. Whereby the first test right, I will be making use of the Geometrics Future Liquid AIO with all these Geometrics fans in the case, which you have three at the top, three at the side, two at the bottom. Then after the first test, I will conduct another test, which is for this, the Gullit Silent 12 PWM, whereby I'll swap out this fans to this. And you will be populated like what you see here, three at the front, two at the bottom, with all the Gullit Silent 12 PWM. Now, what I am using is a B650M Mota motherboard with a Ryzen 9 7950X 
and with a pair of uh, 32 gig kit RAMs. Now, things that I've set is under overclocking, where I set the advanced CPU configuration, which is the AMD overclocking precision boost overdrive, or known as the PPO2. These are the settings that I've done. For the curve optimizer, I've set all costs to minus 15, as you can see here. Next, I've done an offset on the V-Core, which you will see over here, okay, see, which is minus 0 0.05 volt. And I have also done the uh, Expo profile, which is to enable. Now, next thing that I've done is actually the hardware monitor, whereby I've set the fans the CPU fan as usual, which is actually the radiator fan, followed by the pump, which con consistently will be running at 5600. And system fan 1, in fact, this is these are the front intake fans. And system 3 is the bottom fans. Now I'll take you to the uh, windows and to show you what are the applications that I made use of to do this test. The application I'll be using is R23 from Cinebench. First off, I'll run 30 minutes and let it run. And while it's hot, right? And when it stops, I'll let it idle for 10 minutes. Once that's done, I will then do the actual recording, which is 10 minutes. You'll be witnessing the 10 minutes. And from there, right, you will be looking at this MSI center instead of from the hardware info, which I often use to pull the OSD. Since this is the test of the CPU itself, right, you'll be able to see all the stats through here, where it shows you the clock frequency, the uh, RPMs of all the fans, like your radiator fan, which is the CPU fan, the pump, I mean the pump header itself, at max, which is 5600. Then system fan one, this is the front fan, system fan three, which is the bottom fan. And the rest of the temperature that you see over here, right, are based on the CPU, the system temperature, which is actually your motherboard, then followed by your VRAMs, the chipset itself, and your DDR5 RAMs. Now, having to say this, right, just to show you that I've not done any tweaks or so, you will be witnessing all this uh, PPT, TDC, and EDC, which I'll show you. I've set the PPT to 180, the TDC to 142, and the EDC to Now the results are out, I have extracted this from the first benchmark that you watched, whereby all the equipment right, uh, belong to Geometrics Futures. And something which i like you guys to take note that I'm testing this in a room temperature of 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. It's a pretty hot and humid area in my country. So do note on this. Now, as mentioned to you, I've done tweaks on the processor, I mean, the, on the motherboard itself for the PVO2, whereby the 
PPT rate, as you can see, is running rate is still at 180. Then the TDC is at 142, and the EDC is 160. Now, look at the temperature. It's hovering around 87 to 88 degrees Celsius when I make use of all this uh, equipment over here. And you can witness that the fans, right, for the square mark from Joe Matrix Futures, right, is running max at 2000 RPM. This is the front fan, this is the bottom fans, and this is the radiator, which is this. I will not talk about the liquid AIO, which is this. And this are all the temperature. Now, showing you another set, which is this. Same thing, if I were to make this run, right, take a look at the PPT, the TDC, and the EDC. I'm not changing anything. Just like this over here, which is the same. So having this run, right, I have swapped out the case fans from the square mark to this Gurlit Silent 12 PWM. And you can look at the temperature itself. Okay, probably I would pull the uh, timing to the last five minutes and talk about it. Yeah, probably around here. Now, I'll let it run. Take a look at the, uh, okay, for the, as mentioned, the AIO, right, there's nothing changes, it's the same. Followed by the fans, which is the top, I mean, the front fan, max RPM is around 1800. Same goes to the bottom fan. And look at the temperature over here. Oops. With all the um, CPU, the uh, motherboard, the VRM, the uh, chipset, and the DDR5 RAMs. This are the temperature. So if I were to go against, right, okay, let me just adjust this properly. Okay, this set over here that you see, right, this is the Silent Wing, sorry, it's the uh, Silent 12 PWM from Galit. And I'll move this over to the side over here. Okay, so we have a better clear picture of what's going on. Now I'll just pull this, oh, let's see. Okay, this is the last four minutes. So I'll let it run. You will see the figures running. Now, first of all, take a look at the uh, clock frequency. See, there's a big difference. In fact, this is trying to touch around 5.2 gig, and that's it, consistently. Where else, when I change the fans, I mean the case fans to the silent 12 PWM, right, from Gurley, right, take a look. It always touches 5.3 gig. And best part of all, look at the temperature. The CPU temperature of the, with the uh, silent 12 PWM fans, right, from Gurley, is hovering around 1800 and the temperature of the CPU right, is hovering most of the time 86 degrees Celsius as compared to the square mile fans see it's 88 and looking at the rest it's so much lower the motherboard compared to the temperature over here see it's lower by about 3 degrees same goes to your VRM same goes to the chipset and to your DDR5. So basically this case fans here, right, when I swap it, right, it does drastically help to improve cooling. And while blowing to all these components, right, which is cooler, it enables the uh, system to draw more, I mean, it converts into gigahertz, in other, in other words, for your processor, which is running at 5.3 instead of this, which is 5.2 and trying to struggle to 5.3. Else for this, right, consistently is above that. It always touches about 5.299 to 5.3. And best part, all this are running much cooler compared to the uh, square mile fans. Now, my thoughts about these fans, they are very good case fans. If you are into stealth build without ARGB, right? These are the fans for you. Reason being, right? They are so quiet. As you witness in my intro, right? You can't hear a single thing. And I was so near to the fans. I was keeping myself quiet while shooting it. You can hear that 
there isn't much noise that is producing off from the fans. And even with the uh, case closed, right, with all the panels, you can witness how quiet these fans are. And based on the fact, I believe this is the structure of how these fans have been constructed. As I mentioned to you, right, the hollowness over here that they have deliberately cut. So instead of the whole surface area that is touching to the mounting of the case itself, okay, assuming this is the case, okay, assuming this is the case, instead of having the whole flat surface to place it and to mount on the case, right, this whole surface area when it creates vibration, right, it will affect the noise and such. So having this cut, as in like having the patterns over here, right, it's of good use. Whereby instead of having a flat surface, you are only having a very narrow surface on the mounting area of your fence in your case. And this, you know, it's kind of like absorb the uh, vibration even further. And also based on the fact that this cutout, right, with the axis of the anti-vibration grommet, it lifts up, see, it lifts up the fan. So the frame will not touch. I mean, minimum chance of touching the uh, mounting on the fan areas in your case. Also, another factor whereby why is it so quiet is mainly because of this shaft over here where they have done a... I mean, they have strengthened the uh, shaft, the fan blade shaft, so that it will not wobble, as I mentioned to you. See, it doesn't wobble. Very sturdy. Inclusive of the uh, patterns over here, the aerodynamics, the design. That's good small air. And I was amazed, shocked. It's running at 1800 RPM and it can reduce the temperature by 3 degrees of all the components you have witnessed from a 2000 RPM fan, which is great. Now, the only thing that I do not like about this fans are the daisy chain mechanism, whereby it doesn't allow you to daisy chain. You will need to get speeder or a fan hub. I hope that Gullit will improve on this with their next version of fan where you can daisy chain them. So this makes a very good choice if you are targeting as in like having a very stealth look in your case as in like black no ARGB, no funkiness and such and also having it quiet and bonus point, these fans here are not expensive in fact it's only costing $10.50 USD so if you guys are interested to purchase this fan as case fans right you can check in my description, I'll leave the URL alright, hope you guys have enjoyed what I've shared with you and thanks to Galit to have provided all this unit for me to share with you guys and if you are new to my content, or should I say new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you like my content, do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care, goodbye, see ya.